Hello and welcome back to our Stationeers Survival on Mars Getting Started Guide. Yeah, I'm your host Gromforks and in today's video we will be building a recycler and centrifuge. Yes, this I've been putting off for a while now, but I think it's time because, well, we get, have a lot of, we have a couple of helmet suits, we have a couple of old filters that could be very well recycled, so we don't really... can always get some little extra ores and materials back, so which we can always reinvest into something more plausible. However, in order to do that, I am first planning to expand our little base by creating some steel frames, steel sheets, uh, sheets and then, you know putting a nice chute that we'll be placing down in the pit where all the ores shall be stored. Uh, whether or not it will be weatherproof, I'm not sure. However, I'm thinking maybe I will maybe even put some sort of a lid on top. Uh, something like, you know, what you have for ladders or something. I think that might be actually useful, but we'll jump from the bridge when we come to it, won't we? Now, uh, that being said, I am thinking I want to be just extracting all the materials because I need, I think I need steel, I need some iron and whatnot, so you know, we have only one gram steel in this bed bugger, so I'm, it's simply not gonna cut it. However, let's see, kit recycler, what do you need? Iron and copper. Alright, iron and copper it is. Right. So let's stuck it in and let's build the recycler. Then we shall be building a centrifuge. So the uh, it works like this. Recycler actually shreds uh, the uh, shreds the device or whatever you st stick in it into a mix of its components. However, this mix is sort of like a reagent mix that you put into the um, into, for example, the furnace. Yes. So it's already mixed materials. And then you need the actual centrifuge that will separate and isolate these materials so that, you know, a mix of iron and copper can be split into iron and copper, respectfully. Now, so that thing being said, I'm just now gathering all the materials that I have here to build. And also I want to have a nice couple of railings which will make things look nicer and hopefully will provide some protection against the storms. I'm really curious to see when a storm hits, how will this pit react? Will it just blow stuff out of it or it will be hammering against the, you know, steel frames until they get disintegrated or it will be doing something else. So I'm curious because these ores are light. They should be able to fly, you know. So iron frame, iron frame. Let's just quickly put these things back because I'm always worried that if this, I leave these things on the floor, which was not a problem if you were playing some earlier versions of Stationeers. However, with the introduction of storms, you know, the wind starts blowing and yeah, and then you have problems because when the wind starts blowing, your materials goes bye-bye and you have to mine again. So, not really fun if you ask me. So, okay, Autolathe spit the materials out. I'm just going to be cramming them. I'm always keeping them in the electro printer simply because it's the simple. I built most components from there, so I, I'm just using it like that. No reason. Now, that being said, I think I will need to buy, make a couple of cable coils, and by a couple I'm thinking 10 to 20-ish. Uh, so I'm just gonna just leave them chugging and maybe start deconstructing this bad boy. Steel frame, where is my angle? No, sorry, yes, wrench and angle grinder look at them i have them fancy yes see haha -ha. awesome now you are gonna be like oh like this i was thinking actually one floor down but uh, that depends actually when where we put the recycler and centrifuge okay let's, let's pick up these cable coils and uh, then we'll see i think it's 23 that's good enough i would say Let's stick them in there. I'm really loving the Mark II tool, tool belt and the Mark II, I think, mining belt because you have a lot more, you know, real estate to put stuff in. Well, in the tool belt, not that much, but I cannot wait until we get the jetpack 
hardened and everything. However, for that we need Vaspaloi and... Um, that's another nightmare that I'm planning to solve. I have no idea how to solve it. Oh boy, I fell down right, didn't I? Alright, I have to be careful. My jetpack has very low thrust, but it's not a biggie. You can always put your, you know, CO2 tank as a source of a jetpack, so it's not... It's not really a problem that I'm worrying about now. So, right. All right, you sunshine spit things out. And I am thinking I should also be printing some shoots, I guess. So steel, I'm going to be putting in here, right? And I'm actually wanting to do some iron, oh, sorry, steel frames and steel sheets. We need a couple more. Yeah. Actually, I might cut out the part where I'm just printing everything until I start assembling things, just for your convenience. All right, let's be building a few more steel frames. Talking about uh, the expansion of the base. There we go. And so I'm thinking I need two to three more steel frames and a couple more steel sheets. All right, let's just weld these bad boys up. Oh, I don't have the steel sheets. Yes, I forgot about that. You know, arc welder only works if you have all the materials. Otherwise, it doesn't. Go figure. So, steel sheets. Come on. There's some steelite glaze sheets, and this is no new materials. I mean, these days, Rocketworks is pumping out updates for stationers like there's no tomorrow. By the time I make an episode... It's already an old version. I don't know. I mean, seems like they're really, you know, chugging it up for the launch, I guess. I don't know. And by the way, I have no idea when that's going to be. But I'm guessing with all the rebalancing and things being added, probably should be this year. Hopefully would be this year. I don't know. There we go. And there we go. And this is the last one. So I'm thinking two more, perhaps might be viable and then some railings i guess maybe all right uh that being said shall we put in now the aforementioned recycler i think so because we need to understand where it will be going so let's see recycler are you the recycler i think so okay i don't want you to be turned that way that way turn around that way yes uh, this level, this depth, I think it's okay. This should be aligned with other machines. Good. And then I want to be building uh, a centrifuge. And I do want to be building one shoot away so that we, there is one shoot between the two. Because there's no point. It's easily when you shoot those two up, the materials are going from one straight into the other. So I think that would be a preferred choice. However, I need to make shoots, of course. Hydraulic pipe bender, I mean, give me like, I don't know, three, three shoots maybe should be enough. Because I would like to make, you know, a window shoot. So, okay, let's see. One, two, three, good enough. Thank you. Turn off now, we'll create the exit from here. Shoot straight, shoot window. There we go. And then comes the centrifuge. So we connect the shoot output to the centrifuge input. Oh, we need to assemble it, don't we? All right, then. Then we will be assembling it. And we need steel sheets, steel frames. Good, steel sheets, namely. All right, steel sheets. And we need the wrench. Good. Then we need welding torch and another two steel sheets. All right. Let's put in the well arc welder then. There you go, Sonny. And I think that's it. Good. Now it's a matter of cabling and making sure that it works. So where's my trusted wire cutters? And I need the cable. I mean, technically you don't really need the recycler but i think it's very handy given that your filters are a consumable material and sometimes you make things by mistake suits break whatnot i think it's always handy to have those 
you know, two machines, which reclaim, although a small portion, but an important portion anyway. It's also one of the tips that I would recommend, especially if you don't feel like going out and mining all over again. But then again, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So, now let's see, we need to actually, we need one, two, three maybe shoots out. And I'm planning on this place where I'm standing, I'm planning to make a little bit receded, um, receded steel frame below. And that should be sort of my storage for the ores. So let's see, I will need a few more steel sheets and a couple more steel frames. And I'll get back to you once I'm ready for the assembly. All right, and it has done, and I'm just placing the final bits and bobs of the future to come uh, steel frames while my sheets are being printed. And that means that sooner rather than later, we will be go proceeding with the welding and hopefully making the shoots and all that jazz. So I'm waiting till I get all the necessary steel sheets. There we go. I think 10 should be enough. Let it be, and now let's start the welding process. So, where is my trusted... Oh, oh, water critical. Oh, all right, I'm just gonna drink some water, I guess. Fine. Let's chow some tomato soup. There we go. All right, that should give us some more time to actually play with things. Now, that being said, arc welder, and let's weld these things. There we go. Just welding a bunch of steel frames. And then we're going to be proceeding to making this receded frame one floor below where we will be dumping the, you know, ores. Yes. Right. So I'm thinking the frame that I'm standing on should be dismantled. So uh, it's, I guess it's this one. Okay, let me grab my wrench. There we go disassemble it and then we go put it one floor down actually that steel frame come on i need the angle grinder angle grinder any moment there we go that's it then we go down and place it one further down come on uh please there we go Perfect. So this will be a hole where we will be dumping the materials. So there we go. And where is my arc welder? I mean, it's primitive, but it works. I don't know if it will work against the storm. That's something that remains to be tested, but uh, we'll see. All right. So, and then I'm actually happy with the way it looks. So I'm going to be placing one shoot. Come on. Placement requires... I need more shoots? Why do I need more shoots? I have one shoot. Oh, I'm building a window. Okay, okay, okay. That's fair. Well, technically, I don't need a window because we'll see what's coming out on this side anyway. However, I'm going to be printing a couple more shoots just to be on the safe side. Come on. Where is my shoot? There we go, shoot. And this time we make it regular, inlet window straight. There we go. However, this is still, you know, going regular way out. I would much prefer it to go downwards and then it dumps things properly down there. So that's the idea. Hopefully it should be okay. Now, let's see, railings. Yes, I want to be you know, printing a couple of railings and I buy a couple. Oh, I need iron for that. See, now it would be perfect way to recycle my iron. I do have one iron ore here. Or we'll just take it out of the hydraulic pipe bender because pipe bender has several. Let's see, do you have railings perhaps? No, you don't. Okay, good enough. In the, yeah, in that case, we'll just print a few more shoots. And I, by few, I mean, I think one or two. Two, good enough. 
and then spit out the iron sun. Thank you. Now, with the iron being sped out, we can actually construct the railings. All right, and I am thinking like, you know, five, six of them just to be on the safe side so that I don't accidentally fall in this hole, as I already did. There we go, corner down. And that's good enough because it will be throwing things down. Now, the railings apparently are being printed faster than I originally anticipated, meaning I have 10 of them. I'm pretty sure we're going to put them to good use somewhere. So, railing, the main part is actually to wall off this section. So, you sunshine, you sunshine, and come on, here we go. There we go, beautiful. But I could actually wall off this section so I get a no... So, no Bleh. I get a, some nice sort of plaza where I'm actually walking along the railings and not falling down ideally. That would be perfect and I'm guessing that this would be a place where I would be falling down typically due to not watching where I'm going. There we go, see? Much nicer. Now it's an idiot proof. Haha, -ha. means I will be happy user. Great. Alright, time for a brief test I think. Let's take my space helmet and my suit and let's you know recycle them i usually like to end a build episode with a small test so that you guys can see how it's being built and how it goes so you know for reasons there we go copper iron beautiful isn't it now, that being said, I don't want to use the can or I don't want to use these other things, but what I do want to use, I have some, you know, filter carbon dioxide, which are at 0%, so I just dump them in. One, two, thank you. See, beautiful way to get rid of trash. And we could even say that we do recycle on Mars. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So... That's, I guess, what I wanted to set up, guys. So I'm thinking, look, and here we have the materials, we have the copper, we have the iron, and, you know, various amounts of each material. Now, I haven't actually... I'm just thinking of dumping these guys in here, and actually I can dump them here, and maybe we'll do the test some other time. But uh, this is it for this episode, guys. Like if you like the episode, let me know what you think, how are you using these, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.